Hello and welcome to Psychic Moon Tarot Reading. So today I am going to do a reading to find out what guidance do you need from your spirit guides, from God, from the universe, from the cosmos on your current situation. If you are in a difficult situation, if you are in a state of confusion of not knowing what to do, how to go ahead about it, how to navigate this issue in your current life, then this is a reading for you, okay? So we'll have three piles and I am using the Wild Unknown Archetypes by Kim Kranz. And let's pick three cards so that you can pick your pile. So I'm randomly going to mix uh, this entire bunch of cards and see which is the one that wants to pop out for these three piles. So pile number one, I have chosen this one and this one and this one okay so i have chosen the three piles let them put the rest of let me put the rest of them aside okay so pile number one pile number two and pile number three so let's reveal these cards one by one Pile number one is the queen. Pile number two is the river. And the pile number three is the tear. Okay. So these are your three piles. Give me a minute and I will place three different crystals on these three piles. So if you want to choose with your crystals, then you can do so. Okay, so we have these three piles and I also have placed three crystals. So pile number one is this crystal right here. Pile number two is this purple crystal right here. And pile number three is this black crystal right here. Okay, so see which is the crystal that attracts your attention and you can click on the timestamps mentioned in the description box so that you can go directly to your pile. You can choose one pile or you can choose more than one pile or listen to the entire three piles. Okay, it's all up to you. So let's begin with pile number one. So pile number one, I see that you have chosen this crystal, the peach um, crystal, which has this form to it, and the queen. Okay. So the archetype of queen is a very complex one. Okay. I see that. The queen is an embodiment of the mother and the empress, okay? And the queen can be both uh, graceful um, and somebody who is ready to resolve the problems with grace, with kindness, with nurturing energies and stillness. But the same queen could also be vainful and self-righteous and demanding, okay? A queen can be, can be both ways. A positive, the positive side of a queen could be very nurturing, empathetic and supporting a benevolent uh, king, a benevolent leader. While... A negative aspect of the queen could be very, very manipulative, okay? A queen who is on the negative uh, shadow self 
can be very manipulative and be very uh you know vengeful and demanding from the king so let's see let's deep dive into your reading and find out what is the what is the advice that you need to hear from your spirit guides your gods and goddesses the universe and the cosmos on your current situation that you're in okay so i'm using the night wait tarot by michelle nightwait and let's find out what is the advice what is your situation what is it that you're facing and what advice do you need on your situation pile number 1 what is the situation that you're facing in your current life what is the situation that you're seeking advice for pile number 1 page of wands i see that you are trying to initiate something you're trying to start something that you are very passionate about okay you have a lot of positive hopes and aspirations about this thing in your life this could represent a new relationship or it this could represent a new career path this could also represent a new hobby that you are drawn to for some of you okay so pile number 1 i see that your situation is about a lot of enthusiasm and positive thinking positive thinking to the point that i see that you could be sometimes overly positive and overly optimistic about a certain thing in your life it has this feeling has a certain level of immaturity like not knowing what is the realistic uh, potential of this new thing that you want to start okay two of swords and since you have this you know this uh, unrealistic uh, positive approach to the situation in your life you are in double minds okay you are not sure uh, whether to go ahead with it it's like being in a double mind of you feel very positive about it but still you hope hold some fear around it okay so at one point of time it is uh this new thing that you want to start or the new thing that you want to uh, pursue is giving you a lot of hope and optimism and positive uh hopes for positive potential of this uh, situation but you're also fearful of what if it doesn't okay there is a double mind situation that is going on and you don't know how to handle this you don't know uh what path is it that you should take okay you feel a little uh, ambiguous about the situation you are not very clear about the situation that you're in okay and this is about a fresh start this is about uh initiating something new in your life okay starting something new in your life for example you have met someone in your life currently and you are you have started dreaming of you know having a, a long term relationship with this person with your relationship blooming into commitment ship and then you finally get married you have started weaving all these dreams just by uh, the fact that you have just met okay and you have just probably get to know each other and you like this person and there is an instant click there is an instant spark but you don't really know how true is this feeling of yours whether the feeling the positive feeling that you feel about this person is true or there is something else that you should know or there is there some uh you know there is some room of caution for you here so you want some clarity on the situation that has just started or uh, that has just entered your life okay pile number 1 so let's help you and see what does the universe the guidance from spirit guides and your guardian angels have for you okay what do they want to what does god want to guide you uh to in this path what is the guidance for you here what is the advice for you here by number 1 okay 
two of wands. I see that the choice is very much yours. The choice is yours. You are standing on a crossroad. Okay. There are two ways to go. And there is a choice that you need to make. And this choice is going to lead to two very different options. What are these two choices? What are these two choices? Choice number one is nine of wands, where you have patterns repeating in your life which were, you know, painful. Okay, okay. If you have been, um, if you have been in a pattern of toxic relationships, or if you have been in a pattern of incomplete uh, relationships which lacked commitment, then expect this pattern repeating in your life. Okay. Choice number two, Ace of Wands. I see that this is choice. Path number two is a new, fresh way of approaching it. So what I see here, pile number one, your advice is to look within on how you want to take this situation. Okay. If you keep repeating the same mistakes over and over again, you will never achieve uh, the desired result. Okay. For example, if you are baking a cake and every time you are making a mistake in the proportions of the quantities of your baking powder, your, uh, your flour or your, you know, other ingredients, your eggs, your milk, you are every time you're making the same mistakes and every time you end up baking a, a disastrous cake. Okay. So your lesson, the advice from the universe is that you need to correct the mistake that you are repeating over and over again, okay? The same mistakes will never lead you to a different outcome. So you need to work on your pattern of handling this situation that you have faced earlier, okay? So if you have been in a pattern of toxic relationships, maybe you have always, till now, not, you have always till now failed to draw the boundary uh, with your partner of what is okay with you and what is not okay with you, okay? You have always failed to show them what is your, uh, what is it that you look at in a relationship? What are your needs in your relationship? Probably you always overlooked these things and you ended up getting into a toxic relationship where you have been treated like a doormat. Okay, so your advice from spirit, from God is to take a new, fresh approach. Change your approach. Okay, do not take the same path that you have been taking. Although this could be difficult. Okay, I see that this is a difficult choice for you. But it is important in order to reach a new uh, potential, in order to reach a new desired goal. So if, in, if this is your situation in a career path and you have always struggled in your career path, you have never got the appreciation, you have never got the right projects, you have never got the raise or never got the promotion, then there is something that you need to change in your approach. Okay? If you have been approaching in the same old way of, you know, listening to your bosses mindlessly and not, you know, coming up with your own point of view at the right time, not defending yourself at the right point of time, not standing up for yourself at the right point of time, then you will attract the same problems over and over again. Your advice is to look from a different perspective, change your approach. Your approach is is faulty here okay pile number one so the queen's energy here is to take take charge of your own situation you are in charge of of the situation okay you are the queen you have the power yourself do not hand over this power to the king okay the the king and the queen have equal powers a queen who is 
uh, who knows their power, a queen who is aware of their power, will utilize their power in the most effective ways. And that is the advice for you here, pile number one. You need to take charge of your situation by your own. And what is happening when you do this, when you take this advice? What is the outcome when you take this advice? File number one. Ace of Swords. When you take this advice, you are walking your truth. Okay? The Ace of Wands and the Ace of Swords together is telling me that when you listen to this advice of changing your approach towards your situation, everything changes you reach a big a breakthrough okay you look at it from a very different point of view you change the uh, you change the entire scenario and everything starts working in your favor okay you reach victory you reach a breakthrough point in your situation whether be it love career anything Okay, even finances. If you have been taking the same path in your finances over and over again and have wondered why things are not moving ahead, why am I not able to uh, save a lot of money? Why is my finances always the same thing? Why am I struggling with, you know, uh, hand to mouth situation every month? Then you need to change your approach. And that is going to be a breakthrough in your struggle. Okay. So that was what I had for you. Pile number one. I hope this was helpful. And let me move on to pile number two. So pile number two, whoever have chosen the river and this purple stone, I see a lot of healing around you. Okay. Uh, first of all, to start with, I see that uh, the river is, you know, the it's the water energy and there is a reason so many rituals of change and rebirth take place in the river. Okay. Uh, it embodies forgiveness in physical form. And it washes out. The river washes out the negativity, the toxicity that we want to get rid of. Okay. Um, it washes out whatever is no longer necessary, okay? And smoothing out, and the river also smooths, smooth, smoothens out the sharp edges of the stones. So whenever you see river stones, they are not as sharp as this. The river stones are always very polished and round and soft. And they have no sharp edges. They have all rounded edges. And the river is known to heal and polish out all these sharp edges and you know accepting all our mistakes and grievances the river is extremely forgiving and once we step in the river we are no longer in control okay the river carries us further down the stream of transformation and it also has a special gift of reflecting back to us in a very very dreamy vision like situation okay uh, it is full of fluidity and grace the river is the real you okay full of deep emotion and potential nothing to hide nothing to judge okay maybe it's your true self so I see pile number two, you are healing to become your true self. You're washing away your pains. You're washing away your rough edges. You are basically transforming into something new. You're transforming into someone new who is much more forgiving, soft and graceful. Okay, you are much more accepting. So file number two, let's dive deep into a reading and see what is your situation and what is your advice here. What is your situation? File number two. What is the situation that you are seeking advice on from your gods, goddesses, spirit guides, universe, cosmos, whatever. Eight of wands. Oh my goodness. 
Eight of Wands and the river. The river is all about movement. It's about moving forward. Have you seen a river going backward? Never. It is always moving forward. It is always in motion. If a river is not in motion, it is a stagnant water body. It is a lake or a pond. It is never a river. So movement is your situation. You need to be moving. You need to be on the go. Okay. You cannot be stagnant. Pile number two. And your situation is about moving forward. Your situation is about communication, about making it happen, about manifestation. Ace of Cups. Beautiful. I see that pile number two, you are... You are on the go. You, you have already started your path of healing. Your healing journey has started. As I already mentioned, with the river, I see you are on a journey of self-healing, self-love. Okay? You are on this journey to bring a lot of love in this universe. Bring a lot of love, care, nurture in this cosmos, on this planet through your actions okay you are constantly doing something which is an act of kindness an act of uh, nurturing mother earth or showing some kind of you know uh, gratitude towards mother earth what is your advice in this situation what is your advice from gods and goddesses from mother earth from nature Ace of Wands, you are on the right path, pile number two. Okay, what you're doing is absolutely perfect. Nine of Cups, this, the, the path that you have chosen, pile number two, is going to give you immense happiness, immense uh, joy, immense uh, emotional fulfillment. Nine of Cups is the ultimate wish fulfillment card and I see that the path that you are on, okay, is the ultimate path of happiness, excitement, enthusiasm. You are pushed by your passion, okay? There is nothing else that can push you so, uh, so beautifully. You are pushed yourself by your passion for what you do, okay? You love what you do. Your path that you are on is your extreme, extreme, uh, you hold extreme passion for the path that you are on, pile number two. And this is going to give you a lot of happiness, a lot of joy, uh, fulfillment, a feeling of abundance, a feeling that you have it all, a feeling that you don't need anything else to be to feel complete. Okay, you will feel whole in yourself. Okay. Very beautiful energy. Pile number two, I must say. The death and this path is your path of transformation you are changing yourself every single day by doing what you love you are changing yourself in a positive way you are transforming into a better human being a better uh, a better soul you're aligning yourself every single day to your highest consciousness by doing what you are guided to i see pile number two you are extremely guided by your spirit guides your gods and goddesses okay you have angels around you who are constantly guiding you okay you are uh, you have a very strong sense of direction you are not lost you know where to go and you are very clear on your goals you're very clear on your path ahead Ten of Wands, I see that you are reaching completion of your goal and although this is a difficult path, it doesn't feel difficult for you because you're enjoying each and every step, okay? So for some of you, pile number two, I see that you are on a very, very uh, meaningful spiritual journey in your life that is teaching you a lot of lessons, okay? This is a journey of transforming yourself into a better human being. And although this task, this, this path may look difficult to others, 
to people who are viewing it from an external point of view but for you it is a source of joy you are enjoying this journey you are happy in this journey you feel fulfilled you are emotionally happy you are you are at your best okay although you are doing a lot it doesn't feel like any task to you it doesn't feel heavy on uh, your shoulders it doesn't feel like you are doing much because you're enjoying every aspect of it so your advice for uh, your path ahead pile number 2 is that from the gods and the goddesses and your spirit guides is that keep doing what you're doing because you are on your path of transformation that is going to you know you will not be able to recognize yourself uh, 10 years from now you will be an extre- you will be a, a entirely diff- different personality who is much more abundant happy and prosperous in their lives okay i see that your advice here is to be grateful for your uh, for your present okay be in the in the moment be in your present moment and enjoy every drop of your life okay be happy be be energetic feel the energy rushing in through your body through feel the happiness the feeling of joy that is coming to you while you are on this path one last card for you pile number 2 what else do you need to know is there something else you need to know pile number 2 the hierophant i see that you are on your uh, on your path of becoming a leader someone who who is deeply respected and someone who will start a new revolution or someone who will start a new era or someone who will uh start a new uh you know who will drive a new uh perspective it's like a guru a leader kind of an energy so i see that you are transforming into someone who has a lot of following a lot of people will follow you for your wisdom for what you have done for this journey that you are on okay so your advice from spirit guides is to be on the path that you are currently uh, working on okay because this is the right path for you you are doing it absolutely brilliantly and your spirit guides your guardian angels your gods and goddesses are extremely happy with the way you are carrying out your work okay you are this reading is a confirmation that pile number 2 whatever you are doing is the right path for you and you are heading over to a journey of becoming a leader in your field okay you will have a ton of people following you a ton of people coming to you for your advice for your wisdom to share with the world okay So that was your reading pile number 2. I hope this was helpful and let me move on to pile number 3. So pile number 3, I see that you have chosen the tear and tears are droplets of letting go. Okay? When we shed tears, we are letting go of something that you we have held, we have uh we have held on to for a really long period of time and once they begin to fall we allow the swelling tide of emotion to run its elemental course okay our emotions are flowing in a way that it should emotions are water and they are supposed to run okay you are not supposed to bottle up emotions because if you do then you are uh, inviting stagnancy in your relationships your life and that will not be a very comfortable place to be in tears are also very powerful in softening our egos okay they they help us open up a portal to the unseen world 
when we cry, when we shed a tear, we soften our egos. We let our egos, uh, you know, we, we let our egos dampen itself and we make it less uh, prominent. Through our tears, we sense humanity, our humility, and we allow ourselves to be held, okay? So there is a very, very uh, beautiful role of the tear. And the tear is something that You know, that, that allows us to be vulnerable to the world. That allows us to let people in our lives to make us feel warm, cozy and comforted. Okay, file number three. So I see that you have something to do with your emotions. Okay, either you are holding up onto your emotion or you are ready to release them. Let's find out what your situation is by number three. Too many cards. Let me shuffle them one more time. Ace of Cups, release of emotions. It's beautiful how I was talking about releasing tears that can help us get rid of negative emotions, of stuck energies. And here we see the first card popping out as the Ace of Cups. Okay, I see tears of joy. I see tears of gracefulness. I see tears of gratitude. Very beautiful. Pile number three. The magician. I see pile number three that your uh, your situation is about letting go of your emotions. Or using your emotions as a tool of magic to manifest something deep into your life. Okay? So your tears hold a lot of magic. Your tears has the potential to manifest something in your life. Probably you have suffered a lot emotionally probably you have been taken otherwise in a lot of situations that were hurtful and now the universe is gifting you the power of your tears okay your tears hold tremendous power pine number three let me tell you that okay it is no less than a magic potion And this is not about uh, a negative aspect of shedding a tear to get something what you want. Okay? For example, you have seen, uh, all of us have must have uh, noticed how kids shed a tear just to, you know, get somebody's attention and get what they want. This is not what it is. I see that your tears have uh, the power in the true sense that the universe is recognizing your wishes. Your tears of being grateful, your tears of joy are making you manifest something else in your life. Let's see what does your spirit guides have to say. What does your gods and goddesses, your spirit guides, angel team, the cosmos, the universe have to say on this situation of yours? File number three.
two of wands. The universe is trying to tell you that it's up to you on how you can, uh, how you want to manipulate the universe in getting what you want. Okay, you have two choices here. The universe wants you to decide what is it that you want. If you are grateful for something that you already have, the universe is giving you plentiful of that and that is the magic that is working for you. Okay? Your tears of happiness, your tears of joy is bringing you more abundance, more happiness and more fulfilling emotions into your lives. But do you really want to utilize your tears to manipulate someone else? Knowing the power of your tears. It's up to you. The choice is yours. The High Priestess. I see that you have very, very high uh, intuition. You have a very strong intuition, pile number three. And you could be into some kind of occult practices or, you know, practice magic or have, uh, you know, you, you know how to manifest things. Probably you practice the law of attraction a lot and you know how it works for you. Your advice is to look deeper into your subconscious. Your advice is to find out what is it that is hidden in your subconscious that is bothering you. Queen of Swords. Pile number three, I see that for some of you, this could be a situation where you are, uh, you know, trying to manifest uh, love in your life. And the advice coming for you is to trust your intuition, trust your heart and you know, become vulnerable to the person that you want to be in a relationship with. Okay, do not guard yourself like this. Because you're guarding yourself, you are not able to open your heart fully to the other person. And that's why the other person is not able to enter your life fully. Okay, it's a two-way thing going on here. Two of Wands is trying to show us that it's a two-way thing. As within, so without. As without, so within. So your internal situation is going to reflect in your outer world. So if you are guarded inside, if you are guarded of your emotions, if you're guarding your tears, pile number one, sorry, pile number three, if you are holding on to your emotions, if you're guarding yourself, you're not showing your vulnerable side in your relationship to the other person, then you are not letting the other person come fully into your life. The other person can feel that shielding around you and they cannot enter your life no matter how much you want them to. Okay, so your advice here, pile number three, is to be vulnerable and be honest to your emotions. Be honest, be authentic with your emotions. Even if, it that, even if that means shedding a tear. You do not have to prove over and over again that you are strong enough. Yes, you are. 
but that doesn't mean that you can't be vulnerable with the people you love with the people you care about expression of emotions are equally important the sun your ego might be coming in the way of shedding a tear or letting your emotions come up uh, in an authentic way okay it could be the ego that is uh, hindering you so your advice pile number 3 here is to be authentic in your feelings okay the moment you you're authentic in your feelings you will attract what you want in your life your tears hold magic and you 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 know how to use them do not use it for false purposes use it when you feel it is authentic when you're hurt there's no harm crying but do not cry when you want to manip- manipulate someone else okay if you want to show love and you want to show that you are hurt shed a tear and let your expressions let your feelings come out be feel vulnerable to the person that you are in love with so that they know that uh they are allowed to enter your life and give you comfort and you know a feeling of safety you don't have to pretend to be strong and shielded even though you are feeling sad okay if you keep doing that then you will push away people from your side you will push away your loved ones because they think that you are strong enough you don't need anybody they will feel that you are so guarded that you don't let people in to your lives and that's not a good situation by number 3 so your advice is to acknowledge what you feel okay even if that means bringing up your dewy eyes and show that how much you love them or how much you care for them or how much is it that you feel for them okay so that's the power of tears and that is your advice for you pile number 3 i hope that was helpful let me know in the comment section if it resonated and i will see you very soon in another pick up pile reading till then take care bye bye